Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill Book Summary and Key Lessons for Daily Living Introduction Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill is a timeless self-help book that has inspired millions of individuals worldwide to achieve success and prosperity. Published in 1937, this book encapsulates Hill's comprehensive study of successful people and their principles. The concepts presented in this book are just as relevant today as they were when first written. This summary provides an overview of each chapter and highlights key lessons that readers can apply to their daily lives to foster personal and financial growth. Chapter 1. Introduction, The Power of Thought In the opening chapter of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill sets the stage by emphasizing the incredible power of thought and its role in shaping our lives. He introduces the concept that thoughts are things, which means that our thoughts have the potential to manifest into reality. Here, we will delve deeper into this chapter and provide examples to help readers fully understand the points made. Hill explains that all achievements, both great and small, begin with an idea. Every invention, business venture, or personal success story originated from a single thought in someone's mind. For instance, take the example of Thomas Edison and the invention of the electric light bulb. Edison's idea to create a long-lasting, practical electric light bulb was born out of his thoughts and imagination. He visualized a world illuminated by electricity and through his persistence and determination, he brought that idea into reality. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of focusing on positive thoughts and nurturing a burning desire for your goals. Hill emphasizes that having a vague wish for something is not enough. One must develop a burning desire that becomes a consuming obsession. To illustrate this, let's consider the example of Oprah Winfrey. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks early in her life, Oprah held on to her burning desire to become a successful television host and media mogul. Her unwavering focus on her goal, coupled with her positive mindset, allowed her to overcome obstacles and achieve unparalleled success. Hill encourages readers to develop a clear and specific goal that aligns with their desires. To illustrate this, Let's imagine a person named Sarah who wants to start her own business. Instead of vaguely wishing for success, Sarah sets a specific goal to launch a sustainable and ethical clothing brand. She visualizes the type of products she wants to create, the impact she wants to make, and the lifestyle she envisions for herself as a successful entrepreneur. Sarah's clarity and focus on her goal give her a clear direction allowing her to make deliberate choices and take the necessary steps to bring her vision to life. Moreover, Hill emphasizes the need for persistence and resilience in the pursuit of success. He encourages readers not to give up when faced with challenges or temporary failures. A prime example of persistence is Colonel Harlan Sanders, the founder of Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. Sanders faced multiple rejections and setbacks while trying to sell his fried chicken recipe, but he remained persistent in his belief and continued to refine his approach. His unwavering determination eventually led to the success of KFC, one of the most recognizable fast food chains worldwide. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should engage in self-reflection and identify their burning desires and goals. They should envision their desired outcomes and immerse themselves in positive thoughts and affirmations related to those goals. By maintaining a clear focus, nurturing a burning desire, and persistently taking action, readers can harness the power of thought to manifest their aspirations into reality. In summary, Chapter 1 of Think and Grow Rich, emphasizes the power of thought and the crucial role it plays in shaping our lives. By understanding that thoughts are things and developing a burning desire for our goals, we can pave the way for success. Through examples like Thomas Edison, Oprah Winfrey, 
Sarah the aspiring entrepreneur, and Colonel Sanders, readers can grasp the importance of focusing on positive thoughts, setting clear goals, and persisting in the face of challenges. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can unleash the immense potential of their thoughts and embark on a journey towards personal and financial growth. Chapter 2 Desire The Starting Point of All Achievement In Chapter 2 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill explores the crucial role of desire as the starting point of all achievement. He differentiates between a mere wish and a burning desire, highlighting that a true desire backed by faith and persistence can overcome any obstacles. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill emphasizes that a wish is a vague longing or daydream, while a burning desire is a passionate and intense longing for a specific outcome. To illustrate this, let's consider the example of Serena Williams, one of the most accomplished tennis players of all time. From a young age, Serena had a burning desire to become a world-class tennis player. Her desire was not just a fleeting wish. It was a deep-rooted passion that fueled her every action. Serena's burning desire compelled her to put in countless hours of practice, endure rigorous training sessions, and make numerous sacrifices along her journey to success. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of cultivating a strong desire, nourishing it with belief, and maintaining unwavering persistence. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple Inc. Jobs had an unwavering desire to revolutionize the technology industry and create innovative products that would change the world. His burning desire was fueled by his belief in his vision and his relentless pursuit of excellence. Despite facing multiple setbacks and being ousted from his own company, Jobs persisted in pursuing his passion and ultimately returned to Apple to lead its remarkable resurgence. Hill also emphasizes the need for a definite purpose and a clear vision associated with one's desire. To illustrate this, let's imagine a person named David who dreams of becoming a successful author. David has a burning desire to write a best-selling novel that inspires millions of readers. He defines his purpose as using his words to make a positive impact on people's lives. David envisions the outcome of his desire, visualizing his book on the shelves, receiving glowing reviews, and connecting with readers on a deep level. By having a clear vision and a defined purpose, David is motivated to take consistent action towards achieving his writing goals. Furthermore, Hill stresses the importance of faith in realizing one's desires. Faith involves the unwavering belief that one's desires are achievable and will manifest in due time. An example that demonstrates the power of faith is the story of J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series. Rowling faced numerous rejections from publishers before finding success, but her faith in her writing and her belief in the power of her story never wavered. Despite the challenges, she persisted and eventually secured a publishing deal that launched her into literary stardom. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should take time to reflect on their desires and evaluate their level of commitment. It is crucial to identify a burning desire, nurture it with unwavering belief, and maintain persistence even in the face of challenges. By staying focused on their desires, maintaining a positive mindset, and taking consistent action, readers can manifest their burning desires into reality. In summary, Chapter 2 of Think and Grow Rich highlights the significance of desire as the starting point of all achievement. Through examples like Serena Williams, Steve Jobs, David the aspiring author, and J.K. Rowling, readers can comprehend the difference between a wish and a burning desire. By cultivating a strong desire, nourishing it with belief, 
and maintaining unwavering persistence, individuals can harness the power of their desires to overcome obstacles and achieve remarkable success. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can ignite their passion, fuel their ambitions, and embark on a journey towards realizing their deepest desires. Chapter 3. Faith. Visualization of and Belief in Attainment of Desire. In Chapter 3 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill explores the concept of faith and its crucial role in manifesting desires. Hill emphasizes that faith involves visualizing desired outcomes and having unwavering belief in their attainment. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill emphasizes that faith is not limited to religious or spiritual beliefs but encompasses the firm belief in the realization of one's desires. A powerful example of faith is the story of Helen Keller, a renowned author and activist who overcame tremendous challenges. Helen Keller was deaf and blind from a young age, yet she had an unwavering faith in her ability to learn and make a difference. With the help of her teacher, Anne Sullivan, Keller developed the faith to overcome her disabilities, learn to communicate, and became a prolific writer and speaker. Despite her limitations, Keller visualized a life of meaning and purpose and believed in her ability to achieve greatness. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of developing and strengthening faith through daily affirmations, visualization, and unwavering belief. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers in history. Ali possessed an unshakable faith in his abilities and visualized his success in the ring. He famously proclaimed, I am the greatest, and repeated positive affirmations to reinforce his belief. Ali's unwavering faith in his skills and his ability to win allowed him to overcome formidable opponents and become a boxing legend. Hill also emphasizes the power of visualization in fostering faith and manifesting desires. An example that illustrates the impact of visualization is the story of Jim Carrey, the renowned actor and comedian. Before achieving fame, Carrey wrote himself a check for $10 million and dated it for a future year. He carried that check with him, visualizing himself as a successful actor earning that amount. Through the power of visualization and unwavering faith, Carey eventually surpassed his initial goal and became one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. Furthermore, Hill stresses the importance of maintaining unwavering belief in the attainment of desires, even when faced with obstacles and setbacks. A prime example of unwavering belief is the story of Walt Disney, the visionary behind the Disney empire. Disney faced numerous rejections and financial challenges while trying to bring his dream of creating an animated feature film to life. However, he never wavered in his belief in the power of storytelling and the magic of animation. His unwavering belief eventually led to the creation of iconic characters like Mickey Mouse and the establishment of the beloved Disney brand. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, Readers should practice daily affirmations, visualize their desired outcomes, and cultivate unwavering belief in their abilities. By consciously directing their thoughts towards positive outcomes, readers can strengthen their faith and align their actions with their desires. It is essential to maintain belief even in the face of challenges, setbacks, or external skepticism. In summary, Chapter 3 of Think and Grow Rich, highlights the significance of faith in manifesting desires. Through examples like Helen Keller, Muhammad Ali, Jim Carrey, and Walt Disney, readers can grasp the power of unwavering belief and visualization. By developing and strengthening their faith, practicing daily affirmations, and visualizing their desired outcomes, 
individuals can cultivate a deep sense of belief in their abilities and manifest their desires into reality. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can tap into the transformative power of faith and unleash their full potential. Chapter 4 Auto Suggestion The Medium for Influencing the Subconscious Mind. In Chapter 4 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill explores the concept of auto suggestion as a powerful tool for influencing the subconscious mind. Auto suggestion involves using affirmations, positive self talk, and repeated suggestions to reprogram the subconscious. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill explains that the subconscious mind is the fertile ground where our thoughts, beliefs, and habits reside. By using auto suggestion, we can shape our subconscious mind and align it with our desires. A powerful example of the impact of auto-suggestion is the story of Louise Hay, the renowned author and motivational speaker. Hay dedicated her life to spreading the message of self-love and affirmations. Through her own journey of healing, Hay discovered the power of positive affirmations to transform her life. She used auto-suggestion to replace negative thoughts and beliefs with empowering statements, which ultimately led to her own healing and inspired millions of others to adopt affirmations as a tool for personal growth. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of practicing daily positive affirmations and cultivating a mindset of success. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Michael Phelps, the most decorated Olympian of all time. Phelps, through his rigorous training and mental conditioning, harnessed the power of auto-suggestion to enhance his performance. Before each race, Phelps would visualize himself swimming with perfect form, touching the wall first, and breaking world records. By repeatedly suggesting these positive images to his subconscious, Phelps programmed his mind for success and ultimately achieved his desired outcomes. Hill also highlights the need to align one's conscious and subconscious mind to achieve desired results. An example that illustrates this is the story of Oprah Winfrey, the influential media mogul and philanthropist. Oprah attributes her success to her ability to harness the power of auto-suggestion and align her thoughts, beliefs, and actions. Through consistent positive self-talk and affirmations, Oprah reprogrammed her subconscious mind to believe in her worth, talents, and ability to make a difference. This alignment between her conscious and subconscious mind propelled her to achieve extraordinary success and impact millions of lives through her television network, media empire, and philanthropic endeavors. Furthermore, Hill emphasizes the importance of repetition and consistency in auto-suggestion. By repeatedly affirming positive statements and suggestions, we can reinforce new beliefs and override old, limiting ones. An example that demonstrates the power of repetition is the story of Mahatma Gandhi, the renowned leader of the Indian independence movement. Gandhi practiced a form of auto-suggestion called mantra repetition or japa. He would repeat the mantra, ram, as a means to focus his mind, increase self-discipline, and cultivate a state of inner peace. Through consistent repetition, Gandhi strengthened his resolve, maintained clarity of purpose, and successfully led a non-violent revolution. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should develop the habit of practicing positive affirmations regularly. By consciously directing their thoughts and using positive self-talk, they can reprogram their subconscious mind for success and abundance. It is essential to be consistent and persistent in practicing auto-suggestion, as repetition is the key to transforming deep-seated beliefs and aligning the conscious and subconscious mind. In summary, Chapter 4 of Think and Grow Rich highlights the power of auto-suggestion as a medium for influencing the subconscious mind. Through examples like Louise Hay, Michael Phelps, 
Oprah Winfrey, and Mahatma Gandhi, readers can grasp the transformative potential of positive affirmations and repetitive suggestions. By practicing daily positive self-talk, cultivating a mindset of success, and aligning the conscious and subconscious mind, individuals can reprogram their beliefs and attitudes to support their desired outcomes. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can tap into the incredible power of auto-suggestion to manifest their aspirations and create a life of fulfillment and abundance. Chapter 5 Specialized Knowledge, Personal Development for Success In Chapter 5 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill emphasizes the importance of specialized knowledge in achieving success. He encourages readers to acquire specialized knowledge in their chosen field and continuously expand their skills and education. To further understand the points made in this chapter, Let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill explains that specialized knowledge refers to expertise and deep understanding in a particular area. It involves acquiring specific skills, industry knowledge, and insights that differentiate individuals from the average. A prime example of the power of specialized knowledge is Elon Musk the entrepreneur and business magnate known for his ventures in electric vehicles and space exploration. Musk immersed himself in the world of technology and engineering, gaining specialized knowledge in areas like electric vehicles and rocket propulsion. His expertise in these domains allowed him to revolutionize industries and create companies like Tesla and SpaceX. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of investing time and effort in personal development by acquiring knowledge, staying up to date, and becoming an expert in a particular area. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft. Gates recognized the value of specialized knowledge early in his career. He spent countless hours learning computer programming and acquiring expertise in software development. His dedication to mastering his craft and staying ahead of technological advancements allowed him to build one of the most influential technology companies in the world. Hill also emphasizes the importance of leveraging specialized knowledge to solve problems and create value. An example that illustrates this is the story of Marie Curie the renowned scientist who made groundbreaking discoveries in the field of radioactivity. Curie's specialized knowledge in physics and chemistry enabled her to conduct groundbreaking research and pave the way for advancements in medicine and technology. Her discoveries not only contributed to scientific knowledge but also had practical applications in areas like cancer treatment and industrial applications. Furthermore, Hill highlights the significance of continuous learning and adapting to stay relevant in a rapidly changing world. An example that demonstrates the power of continuous learning is the story of Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. Bezos recognized early on that the internet would revolutionize commerce and decided to venture into e-commerce with specialized knowledge in the field. However, he understood that staying ahead required continuous learning and adaptation. Bezos and his team embraced technological advancements, expanded into new industries like cloud computing, and consistently sought ways to innovate and serve customers better. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should identify their areas of interest and passion and invest time and effort in acquiring specialized knowledge. They should actively seek out learning opportunities, whether through formal education, online courses, mentorship, or self-study. By continually expanding their knowledge and skills, readers can become experts in their chosen fields and position themselves for success. In summary, Chapter 5 of Think and Grow Rich emphasizes the importance of specialized knowledge in achieving success. Through examples like Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Marie Curie, and Jeff Bezos, readers can understand the transformative power of specialized knowledge and expertise.
By investing in personal development, acquiring specialized knowledge, and continuously expanding their skills, individuals can differentiate themselves from the competition, solve complex problems, and create value. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can unlock the potential of specialized knowledge and pave the way for personal and professional growth. Chapter 6, Imagination, The Workshop of the Mind In Chapter 6 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill explores the creative power of the imagination. Hill explains how imagination can be harnessed to generate ideas, solve problems, and visualize desired outcomes. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill emphasizes that the imagination is the workshop of the mind, where ideas are conceived and brought to life. It is through the power of imagination that individuals can envision possibilities, innovate, and create. A prime example of the power of imagination is Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple Inc. Jobs had an extraordinary ability to imagine and conceptualize products that revolutionized industries. His visionary imagination led to iconic creations like the iPhone, iPod, and iPad, which transformed the way we communicate, listen to music, and consume media. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of actively engaging and developing the power of imagination. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Albert Einstein, one of the most influential physicists of all time. Einstein once said, Imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress giving birth to evolution. Einstein's breakthroughs in the field of physics were not solely based on acquired knowledge but also on his ability to imagine and visualize complex concepts. His imaginative thought experiments led to revolutionary theories like the theory of relativity. Hill also highlights the role of imagination in problem solving. An example that illustrates this is the story of Thomas Edison and his invention of the phonograph. Edison's imagination allowed him to envision a device that could capture and reproduce sound. His ability to imagine and experiment with different materials and components eventually led to the creation of the phonograph, which revolutionized the recording and playback of audio. Furthermore, Hill emphasizes the importance of exploring new possibilities and thinking beyond existing limitations. An example that demonstrates this is the story of Elon Musk and his visionary ventures like Tesla and SpaceX. Musk's imagination extends beyond conventional boundaries, allowing him to envision a future where electric vehicles dominate the automotive industry and space travel becomes accessible to ordinary people. Musk's imaginative thinking has not only inspired technological advancements but has also challenged societal norms and paved the way for disruptive innovations. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should actively engage and nurture their imagination. They should set aside time for creative thinking, daydreaming, and exploring new ideas. By allowing their imagination to roam freely, Readers can discover innovative solutions, visualize their desired outcomes, and think beyond perceived limitations. They can harness the power of imagination to shape their reality and bring their goals and aspirations to life. In summary, Chapter 6 of Think and Grow Rich highlights the creative power of the imagination. Through examples like Steve Jobs, Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, and Elon Musk, readers can understand the transformative potential of imagination in generating ideas, solving problems, and envisioning new possibilities. By actively engaging and developing their imagination, individuals can tap into their creative potential, break through barriers, and make significant contributions to their chosen fields. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, 
readers can unleash the power of their imagination and pave the way for innovation, success, and personal fulfillment. Chapter 7 Organized Planning The Crystallization of Desire into Action. In Chapter 7 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill emphasizes the importance of organized planning in transforming desires into tangible actions. Hill outlines a step-by-step -step process for creating a well-defined plan and stresses the significance of persistence and flexibility in executing the plan. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill emphasizes that successful individuals are not merely dreamers but are those who can transform their desires into actionable plans. A powerful example of the importance of organized planning is the story of Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Motor Company and an industrial visionary. Ford's desire to revolutionize the automobile industry and make cars affordable to the masses crystallized into the Model T, the first affordable, mass-produced automobile. Ford's meticulous planning and assembly line production system allowed him to bring his vision to life and transform the automotive landscape. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of developing a clear, well-structured plan and taking consistent action towards its fulfillment. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Serena Williams, one of the most accomplished tennis players in history. Williams didn't become a champion solely through talent and desire. She meticulously plans her training sessions, sets specific goals for improvement, and works with her team to strategize for each match. Her organized planning, coupled with consistent practice and execution, has propelled her to numerous Grand Slam titles and cemented her legacy in the sport. Hill also emphasizes the need for persistence and flexibility in executing the plan. An example that illustrates this is the story of Mark Zuckerberg, the co-founder of Facebook. Zuckerberg started Facebook as a small social networking platform for college students. However, his persistence in refining and expanding the platform, coupled with the ability to adapt to changing market dynamics, allowed Facebook to become the global behemoth it is today. Zuckerberg's organized planning, combined with the flexibility to seize new opportunities and pivot when necessary, contributed to Facebook's remarkable success. Furthermore, Hill stresses the importance of surrounding oneself with a team of like-minded individuals who contribute to the execution of the plan. An example that demonstrates the power of teamwork and collaboration is the story of the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur. Their desire to achieve manned flight led to meticulous planning, experimentation, and teamwork. The brothers leveraged their individual strengths and collaborated closely, working together to design and build their aircraft. Their organized planning and mutual support eventually culminated in the historic first powered flight. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should take time to define their goals and desires clearly. They should develop a well-structured plan that outlines the necessary steps, resources, and timeline for their journey. By taking consistent action and persisting in the face of challenges, readers can make progress towards their goals. It is important to remain flexible and adapt the plan when circumstances change or new opportunities arise. Additionally, Building a supportive network of individuals who share similar goals and values can provide guidance, accountability, and collaboration. In summary, Chapter 7 of Think and Grow Rich highlights the significance of organized planning in transforming desires into actions. Through examples like Henry Ford, Serena Williams, Mark Zuckerberg, and the Wright brothers, Readers can understand the transformative potential of meticulous planning, persistence, flexibility, and collaboration. By developing clear plans, taking consistent action, remaining adaptable, and building supportive networks, individuals can turn their desires into tangible results.
By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can unlock their potential for success and achieve their goals. Chapter 8 Decision The Mastery of Procrastination In Chapter 8 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill emphasizes the importance of making decisions promptly and avoiding the trap of procrastination. Hill asserts that successful individuals are decisive and take action swiftly. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill highlights that indecisiveness and procrastination are enemies of progress and success. A powerful example of the importance of prompt decision-making is the story of Steve Jobs. Jobs was known for his ability to make quick, bold decisions that propelled Apple to unprecedented success. When faced with challenges, he did not hesitate to make tough choices, such as discontinuing certain product lines or pursuing new ventures. Jobs understood that delaying decisions could lead to missed opportunities and hinder progress. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of cultivating the habit of making quick and well-informed decisions. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Oprah Winfrey. Throughout her career, Winfrey made numerous decisions that shaped the trajectory of her media empire. Whether it was launching a new television show, investing in a business venture, or championing a cause, Winfrey made decisions promptly and confidently. Her ability to make swift decisions allowed her to seize opportunities and create a powerful platform for herself. Hill also emphasizes the need to avoid unnecessary delays and excuses that hinder progress. An example that illustrates this is the story of Richard Branson, the founder of the Virgin Group. Branson is known for his adventurous spirit and willingness to take risks. When presented with an opportunity, Branson makes decisions quickly and takes action without succumbing to self-doubt or excessive analysis. This approach has enabled him to build a diverse and successful business empire spanning various industries. Furthermore, Hill stresses that successful decision-making requires gathering relevant information, consulting experts, and weighing the pros and cons. An example that demonstrates the power of informed decision-making is the story of Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in history. Buffett is renowned for his meticulous research and analysis before making investment decisions. He seeks out information, studies market trends, and consults with experts in the field. This disciplined approach to decision-making has allowed Buffett to make informed investment choices and generate substantial wealth. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should strive to become more decisive and avoid the habit of procrastination. They should gather necessary information, analyze options, and make decisions promptly. It is important to trust one's intuition and judgment while being open to seeking advice from experts when needed. By cultivating a mindset of decisive action, readers can overcome the fear of making the wrong choice and move forward with confidence. In summary, Chapter 8 of Think and Grow Rich highlights the importance of making prompt decisions and avoiding procrastination. Through examples like Steve Jobs, Oprah Winfrey, Richard Branson, and Warren Buffett, readers can understand the transformative power of decisive action. By cultivating the habit of making well-informed decisions, avoiding unnecessary delays, and seeking relevant information, individuals can overcome indecisiveness and progress towards their goals. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can become more decisive and seize opportunities for success. Chapter 9. Persistence. The Sustained Effort Necessary to Induce Faith. In Chapter 9 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill explores the concept of persistence and its crucial role in achieving success. 
Hill emphasizes that persistence is the sustained effort and unwavering determination required to overcome obstacles, setbacks, and temporary failures. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill highlights that persistence is often the differentiating factor between those who succeed and those who give up. A powerful example of the importance of persistence is the story of Thomas Edison, the renowned inventor and businessman. Edison faced numerous failures and setbacks on his journey to invent the practical electric light bulb. However, his unwavering persistence and determination to find a solution kept him going. When asked about his failures, Edison famously remarked, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Eventually, through persistent experimentation and belief in his vision, Edison succeeded in inventing a long-lasting, practical electric light bulb. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of persisting in the pursuit of one's goals and dreams. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series. Rowling faced numerous rejections from publishers before finding success. However, her persistence in continuing to submit her manuscript and believing in the power of her story eventually led to a publishing deal and the creation of one of the most beloved and successful book franchises in history. Hill also emphasizes the need for flexibility and adaptability in the face of challenges. An example that illustrates this is the story of Elon Musk and his electric vehicle company, Tesla. Musk encountered numerous obstacles and skeptics in his quest to popularize electric cars. However, his persistent belief in the potential of sustainable transportation and his willingness to adapt and innovate enabled Tesla to become a major player in the automotive industry. Furthermore, Hill stresses the importance of maintaining a positive mindset and using temporary failures as stepping stones to success. An example that demonstrates the power of persistence and positive thinking is the story of Oprah Winfrey. Before achieving her remarkable success, Winfrey faced numerous challenges and setbacks. However, she persisted in believing in herself, learning from her experiences, and maintaining a positive outlook. Her resilience and persistent efforts eventually led her to become one of the most influential media personalities in the world. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should cultivate a mindset of persistence and perseverance. They should view obstacles and setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than as reasons to give up. By maintaining a positive attitude, staying committed to their goals, and adapting their strategies when necessary, readers can overcome challenges and keep moving forward. In summary, Chapter 9 of Think and Grow Rich highlights the importance of persistence in achieving success. Through examples like Thomas Edison, J.K. Rowling, Elon Musk, and Oprah Winfrey, readers can understand the transformative power of unwavering determination and persistence. By persisting in the pursuit of their goals, maintaining a positive mindset, and adapting to challenges, individuals can overcome obstacles and achieve remarkable success. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can cultivate the habit of persistence and set themselves up for long-term success and fulfillment. Chapter 10, Power of the Mastermind, The Driving Force of Success in Chapter 10 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill explores the concept of the mastermind, emphasizing the power of collective intelligence and collaboration in achieving success. Hill explains that the mastermind is formed when two or more individuals come together in a spirit of harmony and cooperation, combining their knowledge, skills, and ideas for a common purpose. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. 
Hill highlights that the master mind is a driving force that amplifies individual abilities and accelerates progress. A powerful example of the power of the master mind is the partnership between Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, the co-founders of Apple Inc. Jobs and Wozniak complemented each other's skills and expertise, combining Jobs' visionary leadership and marketing prowess with Wozniak's technical brilliance. Their collaboration and the synergy of their mastermind allowed them to create groundbreaking products that revolutionized the technology industry. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of surrounding oneself with like-minded individuals who share similar goals and values. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur. The brothers formed a powerful mastermind, combining their passion for aviation, mechanical skills, and determination. They worked closely together, supporting and challenging each other, to achieve their shared goal of manned flight. Their collaborative efforts and the power of their master mind led to the historic first powered flight. Hill also emphasizes the need to seek out individuals who possess specialized knowledge and expertise that complement one's own. An example that illustrates this is the story of Warren Buffett and his longtime business partner, Charlie Munger. Buffett and Munger formed a formidable mastermind combining Buffett's investment acumen and Munger's expertise in psychology and decision-making. Their collaboration and shared wisdom allowed them to make successful investment decisions and build Berkshire Hathaway into one of the world's largest conglomerates. Furthermore, Hill stresses the importance of open and honest communication within the mastermind group. An example that demonstrates the power of effective communication is the story of the founding members of Google, Larry Page and Sergey Brin. Page and Brin formed a strong mastermind, pooling their knowledge and skills to develop a revolutionary search engine. Their ability to openly discuss ideas, challenge each other's thinking, and foster a culture of innovation within their company contributed to Google's rapid growth and dominance in the digital landscape. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should seek out individuals who share similar goals and values and form master mind groups. They should surround themselves with people who possess complementary skills and specialized knowledge. By fostering a culture of collaboration, open communication, and mutual support, individuals can tap into the collective intelligence of the mastermind and accelerate their progress towards success. In summary, Chapter 10 of Think and Grow Rich highlights the power of the mastermind in achieving success. Through examples like Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, the Wright brothers, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, and Larry Page and Sergey Brin, readers can understand the transformative potential of collaboration and collective intelligence. By forming master mind groups, seeking out individuals with complementary skills, and fostering open communication, individuals can tap into the power of synergy and accelerate their journey towards success. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, Readers can harness the collective wisdom and support of their master mind groups to achieve remarkable outcomes. Chapter 11 The Mystery of Sex Transmutation Harnessing Sexual Energy for Creative Power. In Chapter 11 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill explores the concept of sex transmutation and its connection to harnessing sexual energy for creative power. Hill explains that sexual energy is a powerful force that, when properly channeled and directed, can fuel creative endeavors and drive individuals towards success. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill highlights that sexual energy is a potent source of creative power and can be transmuted into other forms of productive energy. A powerful example of the concept of sex transmutation is the story of Pablo Picasso, one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. 
Picasso's creativity and artistic output were fueled by a passionate and intense sexual energy. He channeled that energy into his artwork, using it to express his emotions, ideas, and unique artistic vision. Picasso's ability to transmute sexual energy into creative energy allowed him to produce an extensive body of work that continues to inspire and captivate audiences worldwide. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of understanding and harnessing sexual energy for creative purposes. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Maya Angelou, the acclaimed poet and author. Angelou's writings, which explored themes of love, relationships, and personal growth, were deeply influenced by her understanding and mastery of sexual energy. She recognized the creative power that lay within her and used it to infuse her work with passion, depth, and emotional resonance. Angelou's ability to transmute sexual energy into her creative pursuits allowed her to become one of the most celebrated literary figures of our time. Hill also emphasizes the need to cultivate self-discipline and control over sexual impulses in order to effectively transmute sexual energy. An example that illustrates this is the story of Nikola Tesla, the brilliant inventor and engineer. Tesla was known for his exceptional focus and dedication to his work, often sacrificing personal relationships for the sake of his scientific pursuits. Tesla channeled his sexual energy into his inventions and scientific experiments, allowing him to achieve remarkable breakthroughs in the field of electricity and magnetism. His ability to transmute his sexual energy into creative energy enabled him to become one of the most influential inventors in history. Furthermore, Hill stresses that the transmutation of sexual energy is not about suppressing or denying sexuality but rather redirecting it towards productive endeavors. An example that demonstrates this is the story of Madonna, the iconic singer and performer. Madonna's provocative and sexually charged performances were a testament to her ability to harness and transmute sexual energy into her creative expression. She used her sexuality as a source of empowerment and liberation, tapping into its creative potential to redefine pop culture and leave a lasting impact on the music industry. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should develop self-awareness and understanding of their sexual energy. They should seek ways to channel and transmute that energy into creative pursuits, whether it be in art, entrepreneurship, or any other endeavor. By cultivating self-discipline, focusing their energy, and directing it towards productive outlets, individuals can unlock their creative potential and use sexual energy as a driving force for success. In summary, Chapter 11 of Think and Grow Rich explores the concept of sex transmutation and the harnessing of sexual energy for creative power. Through examples like Pablo Picasso, Maya Angelou, Nikola Tesla, and Madonna, readers can understand the transformative potential of transmuting sexual energy into creative endeavors. By recognizing the power of sexual energy, cultivating self-discipline, and redirecting that energy towards productive outlets, individuals can tap into their creative potential and achieve remarkable success in their chosen fields. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can harness the power of sexual energy for creative inspiration and fuel their journey towards success. Chapter 12, The Subconscious Mind, The Connecting Link In Chapter 12 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill delves into the power of the subconscious mind and its role as the connecting link between individuals and the infinite intelligence of the universe. Hill explains that by understanding and harnessing the power of the subconscious mind, individuals can tap into their limitless potential and manifest their desires. To further understand the points made in this chapter, let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill highlights that the subconscious mind is a vast reservoir of knowledge, wisdom, and creative power. 
It is the bridge that connects individuals to the universal intelligence that exists beyond their conscious awareness. A powerful example of the power of the subconscious mind is the story of Albert Einstein, the renowned physicist. Einstein often attributed his groundbreaking discoveries to his ability to tap into the wisdom of his subconscious mind. He would engage in periods of deep reflection, allowing ideas to emerge from his subconscious and guide his scientific inquiries. His theory of relativity and other revolutionary concepts were a result of his ability to access the infinite intelligence within his subconscious. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of understanding and harnessing the power of the subconscious mind. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Oprah Winfrey, the media mogul and philanthropist. Winfrey attributes much of her success to her belief in the power of the subconscious mind and her ability to align her conscious and subconscious thoughts. Through practices like meditation, visualization, and affirmations, Winfrey taps into her subconscious to access guidance, insights, and creative ideas. Her ability to connect with her subconscious mind has allowed her to make intuitive decisions, overcome challenges, and manifest her vision. Hill also emphasizes the need to feed the subconscious mind with positive, empowering thoughts and beliefs. An example that illustrates this is the story of Jim Carrey, the famous actor and comedian. Carrey famously wrote himself a check for $10 million, dated it for five years in the future, and kept it in his wallet. He visualized and believed that he would achieve that level of success. Carrey consistently reinforced positive thoughts and beliefs in his subconscious mind, which ultimately propelled him to achieve his goal. He later received a film role that earned him exactly $10 million, affirming the power of his subconscious programming. Furthermore, Hill stresses the importance of utilizing the subconscious mind during the process of decision-making. An example that demonstrates this is the story of Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple Inc. Jobs often relied on his intuition and gut feelings when making important business decisions. He trusted the power of his subconscious mind to guide him towards the right choices, even when they went against conventional wisdom. Jobs' ability to tap into his subconscious wisdom allowed him to make bold and transformative decisions that shaped the course of his company and the technology industry. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should engage in practices that help them tap into the power of their subconscious mind. This can include meditation, visualization exercises, affirmations, and journaling. By consistently feeding their subconscious mind with positive thoughts, beliefs, and intentions, individuals can program their subconscious to align with their desires and manifest their goals. It is important to cultivate a mindset of trust and openness to the guidance and insights that emerge from the subconscious. In summary, Chapter 12 of Think and Grow Rich highlights the power of the subconscious mind as the connecting link between individuals and the infinite intelligence of the universe. Through examples like Albert Einstein, Oprah Winfrey, Jim Carrey, and Steve Jobs, readers can understand the transformative potential of tapping into the subconscious mind. By understanding and harnessing the power of the subconscious, individuals can access wisdom, creativity, and intuition beyond their conscious awareness. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can unlock the limitless potential of their subconscious mind and manifest their desires. Chapter 13 the brain, a broadcasting and receiving station for thought. In Chapter 13 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill explores the power of the brain as a broadcasting and receiving station for thoughts. Hill explains that the thoughts we hold in our minds have the potential to shape our reality and attract corresponding circumstances into our lives. To further understand the points made in this chapter, 
let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill highlights that the brain acts as a transmitter and receiver of thoughts, connecting us to the vast reservoir of universal intelligence. Our thoughts have a vibrational frequency that attracts similar thoughts and circumstances into our lives. A powerful example of the power of the brain as a broadcasting and receiving station for thought is the story of Muhammad Ali, the legendary boxer and cultural icon. Ali would consistently affirm his greatness and visualize himself as the world heavyweight champion. He believed in the power of his thoughts to shape his reality and his mindset of success and confidence allowed him to become one of the greatest boxers of all time. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of understanding the power of our thoughts and actively directing them towards our desired outcomes. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Oprah Winfrey, the media mogul and philanthropist. Winfrey attributes much of her success to her ability to cultivate a positive mindset and focus her thoughts on her vision of success. She consistently visualized herself achieving her goals, believed in her capabilities, and held on to positive thoughts even in the face of challenges. Winfrey's ability to consciously direct her thoughts and maintain a positive mental attitude played a significant role in her journey towards success. Hill also emphasizes the need to guard our thoughts and be selective about the information we allow into our minds. An example that illustrates this is the story of Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in history. Buffett is known for his discipline in filtering information and focusing on quality insights. He actively avoids getting caught up in short-term market fluctuations and noise. By directing his attention to valuable information and maintaining a long-term perspective, Buffett is able to make sound investment decisions that have earned him substantial wealth over the years. Furthermore, Hill stresses the importance of using affirmations and positive self-talk to program the brain with empowering thoughts. An example that demonstrates this is the story of Louise Hay, a motivational author and founder of Hay House Publishing. Hay believed in the power of affirmations to transform lives. She encouraged individuals to repeat positive affirmations that reinforce self-love, self-acceptance, and personal growth. Through her work, Hay has empowered countless individuals to reprogram their thoughts and beliefs, leading to profound personal transformations. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, Readers should become conscious of their thoughts and actively direct them towards positive and empowering perspectives. They should use affirmations, visualization techniques, and positive self-talk to program their brains with thoughts that align with their desired outcomes. It is important to be selective about the information we consume and surround ourselves with positive influences that nurture our thoughts and beliefs. In summary, Chapter 13 of Think and Grow Rich explores the power of the brain as a broadcasting and receiving station for thoughts. Through examples like Muhammad Ali, Oprah Winfrey, Warren Buffett, and Louise Hay, readers can understand the transformative potential of directing their thoughts towards their desired outcomes. By becoming aware of their thoughts, using affirmations, and selecting positive influences, Individuals can shape their reality and attract circumstances that align with their goals and aspirations. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can harness the power of their thoughts and use their brain as a tool for manifesting their desires. Chapter 14, The Sixth Sense, The Door to the Temple of Wisdom In Chapter 14 of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill explores the concept of the sixth sense, often referred to as intuition or the higher faculties of the mind. Hill explains that the sixth sense is a profound form of perception that transcends the five physical senses, allowing individuals to tap into higher levels of wisdom and insight. To further understand the points made in this chapter, 
let's delve deeper and provide examples that resonate with readers. Hill highlights that the sixth sense is the key to unlocking higher levels of consciousness and accessing intuitive guidance. It is the inner voice that provides insights, inspiration, and guidance beyond what can be explained by logic and reason. A powerful example of the sixth sense in action is the story of Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple Inc. Jobs often relied on his intuition and gut feelings when making important business decisions. He trusted the power of his sixth sense to guide him towards the right choices, even when they went against conventional wisdom. This intuitive approach allowed him to make bold and transformative decisions that shaped the course of his company and the technology industry. The key lesson from this chapter is the importance of cultivating and trusting one's sixth sense or intuition. To further understand this concept, let's consider the example of Maya Angelou, the acclaimed poet and author. Angelo often spoke about her reliance on her intuitive senses when creating her poetry and writing. She believed that her words flowed from a deeper place within her, guided by her intuition and connection to something beyond the rational mind. By cultivating her sixth sense and trusting its guidance, Angelo was able to create deeply impactful and emotionally resonant works of literature. Hill also emphasizes the need to develop the sixth sense through practices such as meditation, silence, and self-reflection. An example that illustrates this is the story of Ray Dalio, the billionaire investor and founder of Bridgewater Associates, one of the world's largest hedge funds. Dalio attributes much of his success to his practice of transcendental meditation which he credits for enhancing his ability to tap into his sixth sense. Through regular meditation and periods of silence, Dalio has cultivated a deeper connection to his intuitive faculties, allowing him to make astute investment decisions and navigate complex market conditions. Furthermore, Hill stresses the importance of being open to receiving intuitive insights and acting upon them. An example that demonstrates this is the story of Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx, a billion-dollar undergarment company. Blakely had an intuitive hunch that there was a need for innovative shapewear for women. Despite having no experience in the fashion industry, she followed her intuition and acted upon her idea. Blakely trusted her sixth sense and the guidance it provided, which ultimately led to the creation of a highly successful and globally recognized brand. To apply the lessons from this chapter to daily living, readers should cultivate a practice of stillness, silence, and self-reflection. They should develop the habit of listening to their inner voice and paying attention to intuitive insights that arise. By trusting their intuition and acting upon it, individuals can tap into the higher wisdom of the sixth sense and make choices that align with their highest good. In summary, Chapter 14 of Think and Grow Rich explores the concept of the sixth sense as a doorway to higher wisdom. Through examples like Steve Jobs, Maya Angelou, Ray Dalio, and Sarah Blakely, readers can understand the transformative potential of developing and trusting their intuition. By cultivating practices such as meditation, silence, and self-reflection, individuals can tap into their sixth sense and access intuitive guidance. By applying the lessons learned in this chapter to their daily lives, readers can deepen their connection to their intuitive faculties and unlock higher levels of wisdom and insight. Conclusion Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill is a timeless masterpiece that provides invaluable lessons and insights into the principles of success and personal achievement. Throughout the book's various chapters, Hill explores a wide range of topics, including desire, faith, persistence, the power of the subconscious mind, and intuition. By incorporating these lessons into our lives, we can unlock our full potential and create a life of abundance, fulfillment, and success. Based on the key lessons from each chapter, here are actionable points that readers can take away and work with. 
1. Develop a burning desire. Identify your true passions and goals. Cultivate a burning desire to achieve them, and let this desire be the driving force behind your actions and decisions. 2. Have faith in your abilities. Believe in yourself and your capacity to achieve your goals. Nurture a positive mindset and visualize your success. Let go of self-doubt and cultivate unwavering faith in your abilities. 3. Take action and persevere. Take consistent action towards your goals. Embrace failure as a stepping stone to success and persist in the face of challenges. Learn from setbacks and keep moving forward with determination. 4. Use the power of auto-suggestion. Harness the power of your subconscious mind through affirmations, visualization, and positive self-talk. Program your mind with empowering beliefs and align your thoughts with your desired outcomes. 5. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals. Form master mind groups and seek out individuals who share similar goals and values. Collaborate, exchange knowledge, and support each other's growth and success. 6. Cultivate discipline and overcome procrastination. Make prompt decisions and take action without delay. Avoid procrastination and cultivate discipline in your daily habits and routines. Break tasks into manageable steps and stay focused on your goals. 7. Utilize sexual energy for creative power. Understand the potential of sexual energy and transmute it into creative endeavors. Channel your passion and drive into productive outlets, such as art, entrepreneurship, or personal growth. 8. Tap into the power of the subconscious mind. Cultivate self-awareness and direct your thoughts towards positive and empowering perspectives. Use meditation, visualization, and affirmations to access the wisdom and guidance of your subconscious mind. 9. Trust your intuition and sixth sense. Develop your intuitive faculties through practices like meditation, silence, and self-reflection. Trust your inner voice and act upon intuitive insights that arise. Allow your intuition to guide you towards the right choices and opportunities. 10. Take inspired action. Combine your desires, beliefs, and intuition to take inspired action aligned with your goals. Act upon the insights and guidance you receive and remain open to new possibilities and opportunities that present themselves along the way. By incorporating these actionable points into our lives, we can embark on a transformative journey towards personal growth, success, and abundance. Think and Grow Rich serves as a guidebook, providing principles and strategies that, when applied with dedication and consistency, can lead to remarkable achievements. Remember, success is not solely about financial wealth but encompasses all areas of life, including personal fulfillment, happiness, and meaningful relationships. As you embark on your own path of growth and achievement, remember that the key lies in your thoughts, beliefs, and actions. Cultivate a positive mindset, remain persistent, and let your desires guide you towards your goals. With unwavering faith in your abilities and a commitment to continuous improvement, you have the power to think and grow rich in every aspect of your life.